Hey guys, it's Running Kimono. I hope you're doing great. So um, I did go through the Dollar General flyer uh, for the best deals for this upcoming Saturday, December the 1st to go with the 5 off of 25. Um, there is going to be some very good deals and I have a lot of different scenarios for you guys. Um, so buckle up. This is going to be a fantastic video. Um, read, read, read through the comments. There's lots of Dollar General queens who watch my videos. Always have little extra insights to throw in. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. There's always a lot of knowledge to be learned. So um, feel free to read the comments um, because there's a lot of good information in all these videos right in the comments. First thing that we're going to talk about in the flyer is this. And basically, uh, P&G, I guess they have a pretty good sense of humor and all of the coupons are about a dollar. And this includes the loads over at Dollar General. So um, for a lot of the deals that we do with Gain and Tide, um, we're going to take a big old hard pass on that because the coupons are just not there for us. So um, that is just um, what it is this month. And I will not send you guys to the store to spend like three or four dollars for a thing of Tide because I think that is extreme shopping and not extreme couponing. So this is the load coupon. It is a five off of 25. Again, as you can read, it's only good on the Saturday. And this is also of a one-time use. You'll either have this in your Dollar General account or you will have it at the bottom of a cash register um, receipt from last week. And basically there will be a bar on that and it is of a one-time use and uh, they are definitely worth their weight in gold uh, with the following scenario. Let's just talk about a couple ground rules again. The, the this digital coupon is of a one-time use. If you have multiple cash register tapes, you can obviously do this deal more than once. To ensure that your basket gets to $25, watch, watch, watch your cashier and even ask Am I at $25 um, before any coupons or tax? Um, and that is your responsibility to do. Just watch. Because what if one of your items is on a weird clearance or something like that? It might monkey up your total um, transaction. And if a load coupon does not come off, like scrutinize your receipt. Definitely give it a good old look. And um, I would absolutely ask for a missed coupon. Show the cashier your cell phone and where the coupons are. And if they do not offer that, just return the items because you need the coupons to work in concert with the five off of 25 or none of it is worth it. So just ask for a missed coupon or return said items. Now this is a question I get asked a lot by new shoppers is how is the order that you do this? Walk up to the cash register, give your cashier all of the items, get he or she to scan all of them and then make sure you're at $25 and then give your cashier your physical paper coupons if you have any and then you will punch in your phone number for the additional load coupons to come off. So that is the order that I typically do it and I've had a little bit of success in the last couple of months doing it this way. Now, the first two items that we're going to talk about are stupendous fillers, including this Crest 3D White. It is $3. We also have a $2 coupon in the December PNG, which you can use with this, so it'd drop it down to a dollar. Also, there is this $2 load coupon. You can use it of a one-time use, but an excellent little item to get your basket right at $25. So this is a very good um, little item to just throw in. This is another uh, sensational item to use as a filler item for one of these five off of 25s. It is the um, $3 um, Shea Moisture. This is found with the hair care, vitamin E, lotion, potion, that section of the store near the shampoo, $3. And as you can see, I took a photo at my store last week. Uh, this is taking place until the 22nd. So if you have the opportunity to get your hands on some of these $3 coupons from your Retail Me Not of 1028, by all means go for it because I'm very sure for the next consecutive couple seconds Saturdays, this five off of 25 will be taking place. And this is just a really good item to get your basket right to um, $25. So just fantastic. And again, the end date uh, for the sale is the 22nd, just to note that. The first deal that we're going to do is going to be a very simple one, um, just to give you a basic understanding of how this five off of 25 works. So for this one, hypothetically, grab one of these outdoor ornaments for $25, say the inflatable Santa, 25 bucks. Have that five off of 25 coupon loaded to your store card, punch in the number, and you're paying $20 plus tax for Mr. Santa. Again, this is of a one-time use, but a $25 product, you're getting it for $20. Now, this first deal is for very extreme couponers. 
people that are very familiar with the Dollar General, this is a great deal. For this one, you're going to grab five of these Crest 3D Whites and then five of these Shea Moistures. This is also dependent if your store has all this merch in stock, but five of each. So, um, $15 uh, for the toothpaste, $15 for the moisturizer. For a price point of $30, bucks, you are going to surrender five of the um, $2 coupons from your December PNG, subtracting $10 plus five $3 coupons from your Retail Me Not of 1028 for the Shea Moisture, subtracting 15. The five off of 25, you'll have to punch in your phone number. That'll come off. You'll have a subtotal of zero and you will just pay your tax. Uh, so, I mean, if you can line this up, by all means, go for it. And um, for the coupon cops out there who like to scrutinize my deals and give me 10 shades of stuff for the use of more than two PNG coupons, this deal is definitely not for you and you probably should not be watching these videos as our philosophies on coupons probably don't line up. Okay, so this next deal involves a little bit of this and that and a little bit of magic, so it's a great deal. So for this deal, you're gonna grab some of these Lysols at $2 each, and there's a $2 instant savings when you buy $10 of Lysol products. You're also gonna grab two bags of the Love diapers. They're $6 each or two for 12 when you buy two, which is a really good price point. And then you're also gonna grab, um, I believe, two of these Crest toothpaste. So here's the math, guys. Five of those Lysol toilet bowl cleaners at $10, two of the Crest toothpaste for six, and then two bags of the Loves for 12. That is a price point of $28. You're gonna surrender five 75 cent off of one tear pad coupons for the Lysol. Those have been found at Kroger, so you'll need five of them. $2 will also automatically come off of the Lysol. You will also surrender two of those $2 coupons from your December PNG, plus, the load coupons are the five off of 25. There was a $3 for the loves last week, plus a dollar this week. So four more dollars of coupons will come off. The subtotal now is $9.25 for the nine items or a dollar to each, which is a fantastic price point. Now, a little bit of a turn on this deal, if you can work this out, uh, this is also a fantastic deal. You would grab five of the Crest toothpaste for $15, two bags of the loves for 12. That is a subtotal of $27. Um, surrender five $2 coupons for your December PNG for the toothpaste. The five off of 25 will come off. And for the loves, you will have a three and a dollar load. Um, so after all of those coupons, you're looking at paying $8 out of pocket for the seven items or a dollar 14 each, which is not a bad price point. And here's another take of this deal, but with the Shea Moisture, you would grab five of them for $15, grab two bags of the Loves for 12. That is a new subtotal of $27. Present five $3 coupons for your Retail Me Not of 1028 for the Shea Moisture, subtracting 15 bucks. You will punch in your store card at this point. The five off of 25 will come off along with the three and the $1 for the Loves. Um, so you're paying $3 for the seven items or 42 cents each. Obviously, if you have five of those Shea Moisture coupons, this is the avenue to go to get a bag of those Love diapers for 42 cents. I mean, that's just absolutely winning. This is a fantastic deal. Now, this next deal is when you buy either the Cottonelle or the Scott, buy $15 of this merch, you will get $3 off instantly. So um, I've kind of skewed the math again to work with that $3 instantly so you guys will not be shortchanged or your math will not balance. Again, double, triple, check, be very, very vigilant at the cash register to make sure that your subtotal before coupons or any of the other stuff is at $25. So this is what we got, guys. Um, you're gonna grab four of the Cottonelles at $6.45 each. That is a price point of $25.80. You're gonna grab one Crest toothpaste at three bucks. The new subtotal is $28.80. You're gonna present four dollar coupons from your smart source of 1111, subtracting four bucks. At this point, you'll press in your phone number. The five off of 25 will also come off. I'm sure that $3 automatic for the um, Cottonelle will also come off too along with the $2 load for Crest, or you can use a paper uh, $2 coupon from your December PNG. After all of the coupons have been subtracted, you're looking at paying $14.80 for the five items or $2.96 each. That is a bit pricey in my book, but if you are a fan of the Cottonelle toilet paper line, I mean, $3 is not bad. It's better than paying full price. Hey guys, so this next deal is with the Scott's products. So you're gonna grab 
five of them for $4.95. That's a price point of $24.75. At this point, grab a pack of gum for 34 cents at checkout, plus grab a tube of that Crest toothpaste for $3. That is a subtotal of $28.09. Present $5 coupons from your smart source of 11.11, subtracting $5 along with punching in your phone number. So the five off of 25 will come off. $3 automatically will come off for buying $24 a Scott, plus the $2 load for the Crest. You're paying $13.09 out of pocket before tax for the six items. It shakes out to $2.18 each, which is not a bad price point. Okay guys, so this final deal is kind of extreme and if your store has the Shea, this is the avenue I would personally take. Grab four of those Scott's products, $4.95 times four of them, and then three of the Shea Moistures for $9. That is a subtotal of $28.80. Present $4 coupons for the Scott from your smart source of $11.11, along with three um, $3 coupons from your Retail Me Not of 1028 for the Shea Moisture. Then punch in your phone number. The five off of 25 will come off the $3 automatically. You're looking at $7.80 for the seven items. So if your store might have the Scott, uh, excuse me, if your store might have the Shea Moisture and you also have those coupons like in your, you know, coupon binder, by all means, this is a really great deal um, for Scott's. Yes, please. And thank you so much. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video.